Looks like you got it. For the skimmer. All right, let's go. We're back on Hilton Head Island in South Carolina and ready to find some interesting species. Hilton Head Island was named after Captain William Hilton, who identified the area in 1663. Mapmakers originally named the area Hilton's Headland, which is how the name Hilton Head came to be. The island hosts 12 miles of Atlantic Ocean beachfront and is a popular tourist destination because of its beautiful views, unique cultural experiences, pleasant weather, and wildlife. On our previous trip to Hilton Head Island, we located many species that can only be found in the southern United States. However, there were still some we were hoping to see this time around, one of which we were lucky enough to find just a short walk from our condo. Alright, we're looking at the first wood stork we've ever seen, and it's using its bill to kind of feel around in the sediment along with its feet to find food. We just caught a fish a few seconds ago. The wood stork is a large and hefty bird that is all white except for black flight and tail feathers. They have long, sturdy legs, and their head is unfeathered and scaly, with a long neck and a thick, curved-tipped bill. They are native to parts of South and Central America, and some sections of the southern coastal United States. Wood storks eat mostly fish, aquatic invertebrates, amphibians, reptiles, and young birds. They use their bill and feet to find prey, and sometimes flick their wings to startle it. Nests are made in trees above water, and nests are generally between 3 and 5 feet wide. If weather gets too hot for the nestling storks, the parents will sometimes regurgitate water over them in order to keep them cool. Storks are prominent in Greek, Chinese, and European mythology as symbols of good luck, spring, and rebirth. After watching the wood stork, we set our sights on one of the smallest species native to South Carolina, the brown-headed nuthatch. While we caught quick glimpses of this bird in the trees, it wasn't until we found one perched that we got a legitimately good look. The brown-headed nuthatch is a small bird with a brown cap, white stomach and chin, and blue-gray back that is native to the southeastern United States. They use their feet to cling to tree bark and travel up and down branches and limbs. They often live in family groups and sometimes young from the previous year will help their parents raise new offspring. They also take part in a behavior called allopreening, where family members will preen each other in order to straighten out their feathers. Brown-headed nuthatches feed mostly on spiders and insects, and sometimes use tools such as bark to pry out their prey, which is a rare behavior in birds. Nests are made in trees, and nest location is chosen by the males. The nest can be made as high as 88 feet off the ground. After spending some time on the inner part of the island, we headed for the coast in search of one specialized bird, the black skimmer. The last report of black skimmers was at Fishhall Creek Beach. Fishhall Creek is a 31-acre wildlife preserve consisting of paths through forest that are lined by salt marsh, opening up to pristine beach. When we arrived, the forest was calm, but the brisk northern winds made conditions on the beach difficult. In spite of the high winds, we were able to pick out a variety of coastal shorebirds. The creek that separates the beach into sections presented a problem for us as we were cut off from some of the most fruitful coastline. 
Fortunately, someone before us had already found a solution. We were just looking for a way to cross this creek, and there's this convenient plank. Looks like you got it. For the skimmer. All right, let's go. After crossing the creek, we noticed some black and white shapes in the distance that looked a bit different. We looked through our cameras and saw that they were indeed the birds we were searching for. Black skimmer is a lanky bird with an orange and black bicolored bill, short orange legs, and a black and white body. They are most active at dawn and dusk and sometimes even feed at night, mostly targeting small fish. They are the only type of skimmer to live in the United States and are known for their unique bill where the lower mandible is longer than the upper. At birth, both the upper and lower bill are the same length, but as they grow, the lower mandible increases at a faster rate than the upper. Black skimmers are colonial seabirds that nest on beaches, marshes, in gravel or shell beds, and often nest in groups with other birds such as gulls and terns. They live in parts of South America and in coastal regions of the southern and eastern United States. After enjoying our looks at the skimmers, we braved the wind and blowing sand to head back to the forest, feeling thankful to see such a wide variety of unique birds on a sunny South Carolina day. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on Badgerland Birding. It's windy. It's making me cry a little bit. This is awesome. Yeah, this is super cool. There's some laughing gulls in there too. If you're into that. I am into that. <laughs>